and today I have some very exciting news. Today is Tuesday, September 9th, and today Apple had a little bit of kind of a day where they announced some new stuff. Normally they do this um, during the WWDC, but today they kind of did not do that, and they um, announced a bunch of really cool stuff. So let's jump right into this tech video. Now the first thing we're going to go over is they did announce the iPhone 6. Let's jump right into that. Now, uh, if I'm on the Apple website, it's kind of going slowly. Here we go. Um, the iPhone 6 is bigger than bigger. And um, I'm going to let you guys know kind of what's different about the, um, the iPhone 6. Now, it is a lot bigger. It comes in two sizes. One that is slightly bigger than the 5S and one um, that is slightly smaller than an iPad mini. Now... Uh, let's take a look at it, and they're, they're starting at $199, and then obviously the plan for that month uh, will change, kind of depending on your location also, stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to click learn more, and we can find out all about this. Um, there's more stuff for music, iTunes and music, and iTunes radio and beats music. Everything is completely um, beefed up. Um, it just looks so much better. Uh, more music and stuff. Also, I think, I believe it comes with better speakers as well, uh, which just makes listening to that music sound a lot more better. Now, Apple and IBM are working together to bring the iPhone, iPad, and IBM mobile first for iOS apps to enterprises around the world. Um, their exclusive global partnership will deliver a new class of apps that can connect users to big data and analysis right on their iOS devices with more ease and efficiency than ever before. Apple and IBM are redefining the mobile enterprise by combining the exponential power of corporate data with the world's best mobile technology. And yeah, so they're working with IBM on this, which uh, it's going to be, I mean, this is going to be a cool phone. There's not much um, else. Um, there is something called Apple Pay. And um, basically, you can kind of use your um, iPhone as your own wallet. You you put in your credit cards, and you have all your credit cards in there, and you can and that's you can use it to pay for all kinds of stuff at stores. Um, you can go kind of go up to it and scan something, and then it'll pay for it right off of your iPhone. I, I believe it works like that. You can also have gift cards, um, like iTunes gift cards, and all kinds of stuff right in here, and. Yeah, it looks really cool. And another um, new uh, product that this integrates into is, it's finally here, guys, the Apple Watch. Oh, yeah. Now, a lot of people thought it would be called the iWatch, and I personally thought it would be called the iWatch as well. Um, but it is called the Apple Watch, um, kind of like the Apple TV. It's not the iTV. It's the Apple TV. Um, I think they might have actually had some copyright stuff, so they might have had to change it kind of stuff like that. Now, there's so much stuff. They have a lot more information about this than they do on the iPhone 6, so let's jump right into it. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to the Apple website. Which basically, just go to www.apple.com. Uh, if I forget to leave it in the description for some reason, that's just the website you guys can go to. And um, you, can, you can click on watch and stuff. And you can see all the pictures and all this stuff for yourself. It looks like such an awesome watch. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go over is new technology. And they have this new thing that they like to call the digital crown. Now, if you look, if you go to a watch, you know how you have the little windy thing. Uh, this is called the crown that lets you set your watch. Um, there's one on the Apple Watch too. It acts as your home button. It lets you scroll through things and all kinds of stuff like that. And yes, it is a touch screen um, as well. So the Apple Watch is unlike any device Apple has ever made, but they want interacting with it just to be as easy as intuitive as using your iPhone or working on a Mac. So they invented the all new ways to select, navigate, and input that are ideally suited to a smaller device worn on their wrist. The result is an experience that's both unique to Apple Watch and quintessentially Apple. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, the digital crown, as you can see, it's just easier to, um, it's your home button. If you hold it down, you can bring up Siri. Um, also, there is an app store, so you can get all kinds of apps on here. 
I'm not, I'm not sure if there's an app store. I don't know if the apps will actually come preloaded or something, maybe. Um, but um, there's a camera, and um, there's the internet, and there's obviously the watch. There's GPS, there's weather, and all kinds of stuff. And also, on, with your watch, um, you have over, I think, like, I think it was about 5,000 different kind of watch faces that you can have. You can make it look like an old Rolex. You can make it look like a watch that doesn't even have, like, barely has a face, like no numbers or anything. And you can make it look very intricate. You can make it look very modern. You can make, make it look very sporty. And it's just actually a really cool design. Um, I never liked iOS 7 or, like, the new look, but I think it actually works on the Apple Watch um, better than it does on your iPhone. And just like OS um, 10, you have 70. Just like that, it doesn't, you know, look exactly the same. Um, it also has a heart rate sensor, which is really cool. So they're kind of competing with the Nike Plus Fuel Band here. Um, it's got the GPS, like I said. It's got an accelerometer, which measures total body activity, counts your steps, and help you calculate your calories burned throughout the day. Um, and it's got like an entire computer architecture on a single chip. And it's called the Apple S1. They started, they started, sorry about that, I don't know what that was. The, yeah, like I said, it's got the Apple S1 chip, which is kind of a whole new line of chips. Um, and yeah, it's really cool. And when it came to charging, they really kept it simple. Um, as familiar as wearing a watch is, charging one is something new. So we decided to make it utterly effortless. In fact, our goal, goal was to make the Apple Watch easy to charge in the dark. Without looking while being only partially awake, we arrived at a solution that combines our MagSafe technology with inductive charging. It's a completely sealed system free of exposed contacts. And it's very forgiving, requiring no precise alignment. You simply hold the connector near the back of the watch where magnets cause it to snap into place automatically. Uh, and that is really cool. That's kind of it for, uh, for technology. I'm just going to go over, there's all kinds of stuff, you can see a gallery, an overview, films, design, um, and all that stuff, but I'm just going to go over features. Before I get into features, I do want to say though, that um, it comes in two sizes, and there's you have the Apple Watch, you have the Apple Watch Sport, and the Apple Watch Edition, and the Apple Watch Edition is made from, I think like 17 karat gold, so yeah, probably a little bit more expensive, and you have like... A bunch of different options for like the aluminum casing you can have kind of all kinds of different colors and the straps you have all kinds of different straps which is really cool and like I said there are so many watch faces on for it which are so awesome so a new look at timekeeping and I'm just gonna kind of read what it says off the website we all share the same hours minutes and seconds but what happens during this time is different for everybody so Apple watch doesn't just keep an accurate time it allows you to see time in the ways that are most meaningful and useful to you. And, uh, sorry, I kind of scroll down a little bit. One of the most accurate watches ever, and designed to stay that way. Working with your iPhone, Apple Watch continually checks against a definitive global time, standard with the same precision found in GPS satellites. If you move from one time zone to another, Apple Watch automatically adjusts. When daylight saving times begins, Apple Watch simply changes to the new time so you never once have to set it yourself. And um, like it said, was connecting to your iPhone. Um, if you have Bluetooth, you can use it so you can make phone calls and stuff from your watch, which is really cool. And here, over two million ways, two million different watch faces. There are so many on this website. Go to www.apple.com slash watch slash slash features scroll down a little bit you can see so many different ones and there's so, each one of them is just so cool and really inventive and it's just so cool and yeah more immediate intimate ways to connect you won't just see and respond to messages calls and notifications easily and intuitively you'll actually feel them with apple watch every exchange is less about reading words on a screen and more about making a genuine connection and so yeah, and I you can actually like put up little um if somebody sends you um, a text saying like hey you want to hang out Friday night is that good for you guys and um you can reply with like a smiley face just like it emojis but it kind of shows your mood a little bit more which is really cool. Sorry for sound kind of weird by the way I think I'm getting a little bit sick 
um, stay closer to the people you care about. Now, inner soul, now your inner inner circle, sorry, is always nearby. Press the button under the digital crown to access friends. A place where you receive thumbnails of those who like to stay in touch with, who you like to stay in touch with the most. Tap on to send a message, make a call, or reach out in one new ways that the Apple Watch makes possible. So, like I said, you can make um, messages and um, calls tailored for your wrist. And it kind of talks about that a little bit. Start a new kind of conversation. You don't even have to use words. The digital touch features of on the Apple Watch gives you fun, spontaneous ways to connect with other Apple Watch wearers. Wrist to wrist. Sketch. And what this is, is you can use your finger to draw something quickly. Your friend on the other end can catch you drawing, animate, then respond with a custom creation for you. You also have a walkie-talkie for a fun alternative to a phone call. Use the built-in speaker and microphone to trade spur-of-the-moment sound bites with your friends. Tap. Let friends know. Let friends or loved ones know that you're thinking of them. With a silent, gentle tap, they'll feel on the wrist. You can even customize different taps for different people. Heartbeat. When you press two fingers on the screen, the built-in heart rate sensor records and sends your heartbeat. It's a simple and intimate way to tell somebody how you feel. And um, yeah, like it's talking about um, how, how it's got the pedometer and all that stuff. I already went over that um, a few minutes ago. There's got there's a workout app and um, talks about how you can use that with your phone. Also, like I said, the your wallet without the wallet, um, you can use your um, you can have your wallet right there on your watch, which is so incredibly cool. Uh, it's a whole new era for apps. Apple Watch isn't just a different location for your favorite apps. It's an entirely different way to experience them. A time-saving feature called Glances condenses the most relevant information from each app into a form that you can easily scan on the fly. And because the Apple Watch can, can tap you on the wrist, you'll be aware of notifications is instantly. It's got calendar, it's got maps, it's got your passbook, it's got your music. You can control your Apple TV. Um, you have a remote camera, and yeah, you have a stopwatch, a timer, an alarm clock, a world clock, stocks, weather, photos, Siri, which is so cool, settings, and yeah, just kind of stuff like that. And it's a brand new way for um, developers. Um, if you guys, um, if any of you guys want to make apps, um, try to make some for the for the Apple Watch. It comes out in early 2015. So you'll be able to do that soon. Um, you can make texts and emails from it. And it is just one of the coolest watches I've ever seen. So I'm going to leave a link to the Apple website in the description. And you can guys can go and check out all these new um, items. They're so cool. I'm definitely going to begin the Apple Watch. Uh, it's so cool. You can read more about it. You can watch the videos. I definitely recommend that you watch the films. I watched it. It was really helpful. Um, but other than that... I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.